camping out on the sidewalk in downtown El Paso today after being released due to capacity issues. Some have been there for days, including young children and babies. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Natasia Paloma. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us live from downtown El Paso tonight. And Shelby, are the migrants, are they still out there this evening? Yeah, well, Natasha, we were out here earlier in the day and this evening. These tents that were out here just multiplied. It's really like a tent city out here on the street in downtown. Go ahead and take a look. You can just see all of these tents set up here on the streets. We've seen migrants getting ready for the night, going inside a lot of children that are inside here. Now, earlier, tents were set up on the other side of the street that's actually in front of the bus station, but migrants told us this evening that they were actually told by police that they needed to move to this side of the street to be out of the way. Now, a lot of these migrants who are out here are waiting to catch buses to their destinations. Many of them also telling me that they're waiting in this area because they want to meet up with their family members that have not yet been released. Here you can see a woman from Venezuela embracing her family members after waiting at the bus stop for days. I was waiting for my nephew, sister, and husband. Since I got here, I didn't know if I was going to see them again. No, no habíamos podido ver más. Reunited with her husband the night before, who describes that they were offered shelter out of the rain. For one night, so we wouldn't be wandering in the streets. And they gave us help by giving us a blanket to put on the floor so we could sleep. Another man from Venezuela showing us where he slept, Yo me quedé acá. pointing to the sidewalk, saying he's been there for four days and shelter has been offered, but to women and children first. Women and children, not men because we are stronger. So the priority is given to women with kids, but they have come and told us, but it's mostly for women and pregnant women. This woman sleeping in a tent, not wanting to leave the area for fear of her family members not being able to find her. We came over here because my daughter was over here. So they dropped me off, but when I got here, not all of my family was here. Yeah, and many of them waiting to catch buses. And as I mentioned, you can just see from this other angle here just how many tents are out here this evening. You can see people have been leaving food, also bringing clothes to the migrants that are out here. Now, they are waiting for buses. This is right next to the Greyhound bus station here in downtown. And as we reported, the city of El Paso did approve $2 million to bus migrants out of El Paso. And many of them still waiting for that transportation. Natasha, back to you. Shelby, it's so incredible. Incredible to see how much this group has grown from just a few days ago. We saw maybe a couple dozen men, uh, so it's grown quite a bit there. Uh, also, Shelby, the city is saying that those funds uh, to help the migrants, that's going to be reimbursed by FEMA. So do you know how much, if any, does FEMA currently owe El Paso? Yeah, well, Natasha, I did ask the city about that. I asked them how much right now FEMA owes them, and they told me that right now FEMA owes the city of El Paso $300,000, but that's not for this current situation that's happening from right now. That what's happened from July until now is actually a different quarter, so they haven't even submitted that reimbursement paperwork to FEMA as of yet. All right, Shelby Cap reporting for us live from downtown El Paso. Thank you, Shelby.